Grandpa, I'm back. Vasilisa, I did some divinations the other day. Learned that Vakul is holding you captive. And then I went to the Church of the Trinity, did what needed to be done. That's why the water demon let you go. No, don't just assume that it's you. The prayers may not be the reason. He had a task for me. You tell old Yegor about the events of recent days. So that Miller was by home. Interesting. A Vodinoi doesn't forget his subjects. Be on the lookout with this demon. He may try to pull one over on you. I don't trust demons, just as you taught me. And that's why you helped the Rusalka. That is not the same as a uh, changeling girl. We need to be careful in our line of work, or you'll wind up beneath the earth. Wind? Anyway, we need to think about something else. Ask the bandits about Fakul. They might give you some advice. All right, Grandpa. What kind of bandits make offerings to him? I think river bandits. Not a rare sort nowadays. They may be escaped convicts or former factory workers. You're a powerful knower. They can't hurt you. Curse them if they try anything. Don't let them catch their breath. I met a Rusalka. Do you think we can help her? The Rusalka? She's dead already. How can you help a dead person? <sighs> well, I'm I'm move sorry, on. Vasilisa, I spoke without thinking. I don't think she has friend that can help her. But I found her name. It must mean something. You're saying she's Pahom's daughter? Let him think about it. Can I at least free her from the Vodinoi? That spirit holds on to his droners until their early time is up. He might let them go sooner, uh, for the right price. Sometimes, of course, they can be saved with prayer. Vodinois who are weaker than ours have a lower price. What price will Vakul ask? <laughs> no one knows. You can try it if you want to, but the seal takes priority. Don't you forget that. Do you think he will keep his promise about the salt and the seal? I dealt with him once, also at a meal. Did everything he had to, but also took all that he could. <laughs> a powerful short. Now it's your turn. You'll beat him. Never doubt that. I see. Time to go. All right. That pot house of yours isn't far from Salatnova, to the west of Kusheva. Krasova isn't far. One drowner asked me to help him. I'll get Pahom in the meantime. God help you. George, uh, Dundell. Bill. Even demons are no match for the speed of light. Running around at the speed of sound. Could you maybe bring me a jug of milk and some pruno as much as possible? Some man. Instead of bothering me with all that questions. Yes, Vasilisa. <laughs> Why won't you treat our guest with mash? Here you go, Proshka, lad. Take it. Thank you, Grandpa. What a nice guy. Since when are you getting along so well? Since the time Proshka saved all our books. Yeah, the mice is all over. They ate your books, you know? And I caught them all. So it turned out not a bad thing to have any caught at home. He caught all the mice. What else do you want to know? What happened next? How did you live in a church? Ah, Vasilisa. Hard to remember. As if all the memories were gone with the wind. So you don't remember anything? Just a bit. Too well, what you're looking at. Try to live such a long time, and then we'll see how good you are with all this remembering business. I do remember living in a rich house where I always sat. As a Sushevka, I guess. And I looked over all three sides. All four, you mean? No, no. I remember this quite well. Three of them. Our side, one below, and one above. And then there was a wind. It blew at all times, cold, northern. 
and river shells whispered me something. Sounds eerie. Now it was all right, but it is not the whole story. Just give me some time and I will have it all. What else do you want to know? Why do you need a pruno? You're undead. The undead need a treat from time to time, don't they? You know, they sometimes treat Susietkas and the parents. Why am I any different? What else do you want to know? Bye. Let's go. We'll talk later. Oh, oh yeah. Church man. God bless, Igor Yevlampovich. Was... Howdy! I thought you decided never visit my Izbai ever again. Oh, if God wished it so, I wouldn't. This place of yours scares me something terrible. I can just feel shorts looking at me from the forest. Necessity brought me here. No one can help me but you. What happened? Is someone's dead? Oh, no one. Praise the merciful Lord. Well, at least no man was killed. In a cemetery chapel, we found a cow that's been missing for several months now. It's inside out. Sure, I remember that cow. That's the one we couldn't bring back from the leshy. It's a good thing that you found it. Well, it depends on how you look at it. It's been found dead. I heard that the chapel has been haunted lately. Right. Weren't you the one who forbade me to exorcise the demons there? Why don't you tell me some more about that silly superstition of mine, huh? Well, what can I say? I was wrong, Igor Yevlampovich. Help us, fools. Well, I'll be waiting for you in my church. I think we should inspect that cow. I have a bad feeling about it. He didn't even address me. I'm the Kuldun. All right, Grandpa. Let's get going. What an asshole. Not Grandpa. Kitty. Oh. Kitty's locked, so Grandpa it is. Garden next to East Bar. Some sort of noise coming from the garden. Yegor's shorts fuss in the backyard, arguing and chattering like a flock of magpies. You notice that some of them smear radishes with soot, while others wash them off, trying to outdo one another. Having noticed your interest in the shorts, old Yegor tells you of an old theory of his. According to his logic, a learned short is better than three unlearned. Yeah. The crossroad or road loop here. How many times have I visited? Third life. The cold night is filled with hundreds of sounds. Demons and wood shorts swoop under the wide fir branches. Owls hunt for nimble mice. Graveyard grasses whisper something from beneath the gloomy silhouettes of the Galbets at Mikhail's crossroads. Old Yegor stops and crouches down, looking at something on the dry earth. What is it? Look, all this time and your circle is still visible. I wonder if I can find mine from the time I took the hat. Who knows how many circles were once drawn here? Ah, uh, so many sins. What do you think we need icons and churches for? I have enough sin to bury Christ himself. Do you think any Kaldun can manage it? They say there's no saving for Yeritniks. I believe they speak true. I imagine that's why they supply us with chorts, for us to learn to control them. And the church and the icon, it's so people aren't afraid. Could it be that I will draw a circle here with a student of my own one day? God willing. God willing. At the crossroads of two trade routes, you see the annual fair. Yeah. Despite the late hour, hey, uh, book. Be wise and go forth. Thanks. What do you got? Um. Me, me, me. It's a demon boar. Strength and status prayer plus one. Um Okay, Rubishell, no thanks. Uh 
No thanks. Um, no thanks. No thanks. Cow hoof, that's a no. Demon comb, that's a no. Um, to prayer, that's a no. Do you want to buy any items? Yeah, whatever. We're out. Alrighty, on to Vilgore. I should visit the Abbey and ask him some questions. Oh, Vasya, Igor Yevlampovich, you came. Oh, I, I don't know what to do. I've read all the prayers I know. I haven't seen such horrors in years. Who could have done something like that to animals? No less than a monster. Tell me where you found the animal. In the old chapel. In the cemetery. Hardly anyone visits there. And even fewer now. So it's still there. By the altar. What is this scourge upon our rest? What devil tortures us? Lord, forgive us. Have you noticed anything else unusual? Well, people are scared to go to the cemetery. It's haunted. People were about to ask you for help, but I assured them that you would drop by soon enough. Where's the chapel the cow was killed in? Well, in the church cemetery. Something was amiss there long before this happened. Strange knocking and scratching. It sounded as if it were coming from beneath the ground. That's why folk rarely go there. All right. We'll see what demon you have over there. In the meantime, find the payment in the church bins. Rest assured, Igor Ivlampievich. I'll do that. Hmm? Okay. Everyone from Vilgord is buried here. At one time it was reserved for people, but now there are dead animals here too. Spooky. -na 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 -na. Grave. Almost all of them. She always struggles to pick up herbs. Another herb. It's a bull. Some chicken legs. Oh, no, rope. No blood on the Jesus rope. Jesus Christ! Oh, you don't need to look at this. I will deal with animal and you look around. Try to find some clues. What kind of demon are we dealing with here? Why would she be upset by a dead cow when he hangs out with demons? The cow's blood is on the icon. Who would do this to a cow? You looked around. Um, I thought I had. You notice strange bloody tracks, as if human tracks got mixed with that of a bird. Yeah, I found bird tracks. Have you looked around? I've already looked around. Here. And I found some tracks here. Ha! <laughs> bird ones. The spirit is trying to confuse us. What do you think? These aren't bird tracks. There are pieces of broken bones poking through. I've inspected the cow. The demon tore it with claws and teeth. That's clear as day. But here's a hint. I found iron shavings in the bones. I don't like this, Vasya. Let's try to open up the old tracks. Wait while I whisper over your discoveries. Here, let's follow it. I had uh, a feeling the other day. A bad omen is fine. Mm. Roll now. You notice strange bloody tracks. Yes. Yep. This way? 
So they go in there and then that way? No, they go into this hole. No, no say? The trees near the ruined grave stand frozen in silence. You look down. The black hole leads deep underground. A name half erased can still be read. Prakopi. I knew it! You hold up the swaying Igor. I was young and experienced. It didn't completely disable him. The cursed Yeritnik broke free. I figured it out as soon as I saw the cow. Your family had a similar cow long ago. He left that gift for me to find. Oh well, we'll have to drive him back. My study was not in vain. We'll do it together. I saw a rope in the church. We'll need to climb down into his lair. Do I have to go get this rope? Okay, I've just hit go down and it would have sorted it out for me. I'd rather you try without the rope and just jump down and break her legs. Oh my god. My legs. The trees near the ruined grave stand frozen. Yeah, you got a baby arm. I like what you've done. Prokopi, you. <laughs> Yegorka, we meet again. Why have you come? It can be to bring an offering to you old teacher, can it? Would you look at that? Dark hair, fair skin, and fearless. Just how I like them. Well, bring her here and get lost. Do I look like an offering to you? You know nothing about us, demon. <laughs> no, girl. It's you who knows nothing about us. Isn't that right, Yegorka? I've taught you well. You're the same as me. How did you survive here? You were very young, Yegor. Inexperienced. Didn't know how to kill me. And now it's too late. I couldn't get out of my coffin for a long time. Your holy man knew what he was doing, unlike you. But don't fret. You lived a long life. Look at you now. So old. Pathetic. Even I look better. I haven't aged a minute for the past 30 years. Look at my palace. Truly a sight to behold, is it not? You're holding the ground. How did you build all of this? Simple. My teeth and nails turned to iron over time. They were indeed pleasant tools to work. As soon as my name got washed off of the coffin, the prayers stopped holding me down. Isn't it funny? You shall perish with your girl in my grave. <laughs> you say you and Grandpa are alike. Don't you dare to compare us, Prakoti. Oh, how could I? You are so kind. Yegorka the kind. Weren't you the one who sent his charts to kill me in my sleep? Weren't you the one who took my charts? Oh, but aren't they on your shoulder as we speak? Is that a rat in his beard? I didn't kill any children. True, but what about other things? What is this stick? Is it made from the same horn as my ancient rod? But what do I hear? Could it be the voice of my old chart? Oh, really? The demon told me everything. Oh, whatever they whispered to you. Whatever they advised to you at the end of your miserable life. That's enough of you, demon. 
I didn't know how to destroy you then, but now I do. You can't overcome two Kaldoons, Prokopi. I've been waiting for this over 40 years. Don't underestimate me. And you're about to battle another cool Dean. Kaldoon. Kaldoon is also with the Zagaros using pages. The one who makes it out of the fuel page, excluding firm page and justice, goes first. Also, I can remain read a spell before you, to now have a choice between reading a longer as or allowing your enemy, who might be make a shorter one, to go first. Oh, he's got 33 armor. Kills the target if black damage reaches heart. Uh, excuse you? Oh, it's a fucking puzzle, that's why. Oh god. Eh. What do things actually do? Swipe. Oh god, dead man. Sacrifice waste. Just a firm sacrifice. Blood burn. Increase waste on enemies. Oh, for one each time health is lost. Sacrifice. Oh. Am I supposed to like hurt myself and somehow kill him? Okay, let's just go. Uh, 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 dead man. First attack. Uh, wait. Right? So I put right? It was his thing. Curse. Eh. Uh, sure. I have no idea. Oh, I'm gonna die? Oh no, I had armor. Okay, we've well got 83 armor. Um, right, so that's why I have to kill him with waste. He's attacking me three times. How am I? That hurts me, so that's going to damage him. Do I not want to double my waste? I can play multiple things. Oh wait, no, because he is a cool Dean. So that'll get me killed, right? Because cool Deans attack you first if you play long pages, right? Yeah. Block. I didn't even get through my armor. I didn't need the. I do Oh shit. I'm dead if he hits me. I'll slay him. He's got so much armor for any of these. That's gonna get me killed. Is this gonna be enough to kill him? Yay! Maybe I do want to sacrifice then. Oh wait, it's only good because of that waste. He's going to hell for sure. Quick, remember what you need to do. No. So, how do I dispose of the wrestler's death so that it is certain he passes to the afterlife? Oh god. Afterlife. I read somewhere that in Greece they put a coin. Oh, coins on the eyes. We need to place coins on his eyes. Oh. What are you doing, Vasha? That won't work for Russian dead. It needs something less gentle. What? I didn't read the rest of what it said. 
Hit it with an aspen stake or break its spine. If I had been smarter then, it wouldn't be here now. Good. We dealt with it swiftly before it had the chance for mischief. Okay. Takopi said he have identical staffs. His was from a horn. I took it. Added to my sins. He also obtained one for himself, made out of moose horn. You need to take this one, of course, if you don't fear his retribution. You take Prakopi's old staff. Strengthens ward by four. You have shorts left. I thought you'd give them all to me, along with the book. Almost all. Left some to myself. They have their uses, you see. So you lied to me. I'll find use for them yet. Let's deal with Prokopi, Grandpa. Right. He could rise at any moment. Demonic force. You neutralize Prokopi, and the Chorts help to cover his grave with dirt. There is now a crater in place of a grave. You've seen similar during your travels. Were they the result of unclean dead like this? What do you mean? I'm fine. Is this about Prokopi? To hell with him. I've dealt with him before, and this time we sent him to the abyss together. It's a pity I didn't do it properly the first time around. Ech, 